So what I want to make is some of these T-bolts and they're designed to slide into your T-slots hence the, uh, the name and they're designed to hold stuff on the, the top slide or the, or the, uh, uh, the cross slide or the top slide so you can bolt stuff on such as these here, these are T-bolts at the back now the thing is uh, I'm always a bit short on T-bolts and they're actually quite expensive so what I was thinking was hopefully if I could use these coach bolts now these are M8 coach bolts and the head on them is 20 millimeters wide so it's far too wide to go into there but the slots are wide enough to allow an 8mm bolt to fit in there so what we want to do is make that head fit the, uh, the slides so there's two operations one is to uh, mill the the flats both sides and then just to mill off uh, some of that dome so you get a nice flat head so that then then fits nicely into the T-slots. So the first problem I had was how to mount this in, in the uh, cross slide because I don't have a vise so I've had to design and build a jig which I'll show you now in closer detail. Okay, so uh, here is the jig, and as you can see, it's simply two pieces of aluminium which have had uh, specific holes drilled in them. So I'll just take that bung out. The bung's just there to prevent swarf falling in the hole. This bolt, actually, I don't use. I don't. I put it in, but I'm not actually using it. But as you can see, it's just two pieces of scrap aluminium. So that piece is bolted on there. And then this piece slides on, and then using a couple of uh, nuts, it becomes a clamp in itself. Now what I did was, I clamped it together, and then I drilled a um, quarter inch hole right through. So as you can see that creates like a void for the, uh, for the thread of the bolt to fit in. Now obviously it's smaller so it just grips it on these very edges there. I don't know whether you can see that. It's created its own kind of, well it's almost like you put some little notches in there for which is to match the thread. So all we do now, take one of our bolts okay, and we slide it into the hole as so. Now it doesn't matter how far it's sticking out, we just gently tighten up the, uh, pinch up the screws. And then, as you know, that uh, these have got a, a, a square sort of shoulder inside. So all we want to do is square up on one of those shoulders. So I just use a square on the slide, and also a small spanner, and you can just turn that until. Get it on a square and tell it's there because if you try and turn it back, it'll tilt it back and just snap into place. Okay, so once that is in, you can then turn up the bolts, it doesn't have to be mega tight, and that will grip it nice and solid. So I'll basically put some marks in here so it's my start position and then it'll take off approximately So I just keep adding about 20 thou at a time. Out. Another 20 out. 
it out. Banner, which I'll put down somewhere, and I simply, I simply rotate the bolt, and it'll actually wind itself out on the thread that it's sort of automatically cut into there. And you just want to rock wind it round until it's more or less, well, until it is in the right position, and then again, just use your square. Actually, let's bring that forward. That bolt was stuck in the hang. And then I can see, you can't see from your angle, but I can see a slight adjustment, and that is now square onto that side edge there. So then again, pinch it up. Okay, and that'll hold that nice and square. And then wind it back down to my start point, back in to the cutter. where I want to be and take it to my start point which is about there. Just check that's fair. And bring that in. So then I just keep doing that again. simply because the, the, the thickness of the dome of the uh, screw head is just a little bit too fat. So while we're in the chuck we also may as well put that on as well. inside the T-slot. There's obviously a fraction of movement. You don't want it to be tight in there and quite a good shoulder for it to, uh, to fit into. 